Olympics Men's Football Roundup, Match Day 2. We are now two days into the men's football at Tokyo Olympic Games, and we've already seen plenty of excitement and upsets. Match Day 2 was all about goals. There was an absolute boatload of strikes across the eight games, with half of them seeing at least four goals. Let's take a look at all the results from the second round of fixtures. Just a seven goals shared between France and South Africa, and all seven of them came in the second half. South Africa led three times, but saw each of their goals, cancelled out by André Pierre Gignac almost immediately, with an 86th minute penalty from the Tigers hitman seemingly leading to a share of the spoils between the two sides. It ended in heartbreak for South Africa as T.G. Savanier popped up with a winner in the 93rd minute, keeping Les Blias in with a shot of qualification for the next round heading into the final day of fixtures. Japan picked up an impressive 2-1 victory over Mexico to climb to the top of Group A as the competition's only remaining unbeaten side. Real Madrid starlet Takefusa Kubo netted after just six minutes, and a penalty from Ritsu Don had the tournament hosts 2-0 ahead five minutes later, but Mexico did not give up and actually enjoyed the majority of the possession. Hopes of a comeback faded in the 68th minute when defender Johan Vasquez was shown a straight red card, although a late free kick from Roberto Alvarado set up a nervy ending. Group B offered up a surprisingly fun encounter between New Zealand and Honduras which ended in a 3-2 victory to the latter. Left-back Liberato Cacas offered up a goal of the tournament contender with a screamer of a half volley early on the give New Zealand the lead, but Luis Palma struck in first half injury time to level things up at the break. Burnley's Chris Wood had New Zealand ahead again just seconds after the restart, but a late flurry from Honduras saw them net twice in the last 12 minutes to snatch all three points. South Korea recovered from their opening defeat to New Zealand with an emphatic 4-0 thumping of Romania. An own goal from Marius Marin got the onslaught started in the 27th minute, but despite their best efforts, South Korea actually had to wait until the 59th minute for their second goal through Um Won Sang's deflected strike from range. Valencia starlet Lee Kang in bag two in the last six minutes to pile on the misery, leaving all four sides on three points heading into the final day. If you want to skip past Group C's summary, I wouldn't blame you. We'll start with Argentina, who recorded their first win of the tournament with a nervy 1-0 win over Egypt. Lens defender Facundo Medina scored the only goal of a game which lacked any real quality. Argentina now sit third in their group and will qualify with a win in their upcoming meeting with Spain. Keeping the underwhelming trend going, Spain had to wait until the 81st minute for their only goal of the game against Australia. A glancing header from Real Sociedad's Mikel Oyarzabal was enough to secure Spain's first win of the tournament and fire them to the top of the group with one game remaining. Spain are not yet qualified, however, and must avoid defeat against Argentina on the final day if they are to make it through. Three days after tearing Germany apart, Brazil found themselves unable to find a way through Eric Bailey and the Ivory Coast. There might not have been goals, but there was plenty of drama, starting with a red card for Brazil's Douglas Luiz after just 13 minutes. The Aston Villa midfielder was initially shown a yellow card for a cynical trip, only for VAR to intervene and upgraded to a red for denying a goalscoring opportunity. The Ivory Coast ended the game with 10, men themselves as Jenksebaukawasi picked up two yellow cards and received his marching orders late on. Finally, some fun, although maybe not for Saudi Arabia, who became the first side to be officially eliminated from the competition following a 3-2 loss to Germany. The Saudis didn't go down without a fight, however, and managed to fight their way back from behind twice. Sami Al-Najay bagged twice either side of halftime to cancel out strikes from Nadia Mamiri and 